Good morning. It is a beautiful Friday morning here in Antarctica um, at uh, the McMurdo Science Station. And I am, am uh, doing a science experiment for Mr. Hoover's student. Uh, I guess he was the winning uh, student, the winning designer in the class in building a Will It Survive Antarctica? Um, a capsule. So um, I have uh, followed the instructions. I have to show you where I'm headed first off. See, this is the raw sea. There's a Coast Guard icebreaker that uh, has been in the town. So you can see the icebreaker. Maybe this design will be the new design for icebreakers. But I followed the plans that was sent to me. I got uh, I got an egg out of the galley this morning, a raw egg, and um, I've put it inside of a foam block. And, uh, and these are as the instructions that I was told. Put it inside of a foam block and uh, duct tape that together. I put bubble wrap around that, and then I put that, uh, tape that together. Then uh, the instructions were to take fleece uh, I didn't have fleece that I wanted to donate to this project, but I found these uh, fuel absorbers. <clears throat> they are hydrophilic. They love liquid. They will absorb the liquid in, in, in uh, so should be like uh, fleece. It's a lightweight cloth kind of thing. And uh, so I wrapped this in that uh, material and then um, I put uh, duct tape around it. So that's where we're at here. And um, like I said, I'm here at the edge of the Ross Sea. I haven't been down to the water yet. Um, I'm not gonna go standing down there. You'll slip and uh, go in for a little bit of a swim. So I've gotta look and see if there's a spot where I could dunk this down into the ocean out here as the first step of the uh, Will It Survive Antarctica experiment. Hey, while we're filming, we gotta keep our eyes open. Uh, had some killer wells that were just spotted out here. Some guys just drove by and gave me a little heads up that right out here, we got some orcas. So now that's making this experiment a little bit more exciting, not only have cold water to deal with, but killer whales. So I found a spot where I think I could get this project dunk down in the water. It's going to be cold. I know that. I haven't felt the ocean yet. And we've got uh, waves that are going to come up and down there. You see that? You get my feet wet. So, I'm going to be careful as I go down here on this ice. I'm just wearing my, uh, my trail running shoes. So, I'm gonna dunk that in there and uh, <clears throat> watch for waves coming up like that. Ooh, like that. <clears throat> Getting my feet wet. So here we go. We'll see how that goes. I might just have to run back and forth, dunk it in and then run back up the hill when the waves come in. So here we go. Let's see how this will work. Get it down in there, get it absorbing. Come on, I don't want to go any far. Oh, here comes a big wave. Whoa. Get it in there quick. Not working so well. Let's try that right there. We'll anchor that down in there. Let it get hit by a couple of raw or a couple of waves. And Hopefully we won't lose that or I'll have to go in after it. Yeah, that'll work good. Can't put anything into the ocean. That'd be knitted. All right, that'll be good. We'll let that uh, be hit by waves for uh, just a couple of minutes. By this cold water, we'll get back with you. Here comes another wave. I'm gonna get up at it. Oh yeah. I'll just have to keep weighing it down so it doesn't go away. We'll check back with you in a minute. Okay, we're back. It's been uh, five minutes or so that this uh, project 
has been in the Ross Sea. So as you can see from uh, the ice around here, this water is pretty much at the freezing point. Uh, this was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, whoo, saved it, saved it. Whoo, that was a close call. So really, well, we know it floats now, but it's been, and this is cold. That is cold water coming off of there. But uh, this absorbed quite a bit of it and uh, it is cold to the touch. So we're gonna take it to the next phase now and we're gonna see how it does in uh, extended uh, Antarctic temperatures. So we'll show you how we'll do that in just one second. I have hiked back up to the Crary Lab. That's what this building is here behind me. My hand is super cold. I've been holding on to this uh, project here and um, it is now going to go into controlled environment very similar to Antarctica. It'll be going into a freezer that we have in the lab where we keep our specimens uh, frozen. It's going to go in at minus 20 degrees Celsius. We'll give it uh, some time in there and see how that does. So we're going to go into our laboratory now and freeze it and warm my hand up. So we are headed into the freezer room here now. Dr. Adams is going to open up the freezer that we have our samples in. How cold are we in here? Where is it? Oh, minus 21, bro. Nice. All right. We'll see what this submerged, soaking wet egg project will do. Here we go. Into the ice. Woo! It's cold. It's getting some cold air here, too. We'll set that right there. Set that there for a day. We'll check on that tomorrow and let you know the results. I'm getting out of there. All right. So it has been a week. We are back here in the fridge where it is set at minus 21 degrees Celsius. We'll go on in here to get the experiment. There it is. It is cold, cold in here. And out we go. There's Tasha right there. We'll shut this door down. There we go. And we are gonna go cut this thing open. You can see the ice on it. I don't know how we'll do it. We'll see if we can get into there, cut this thing open, and then we will give this the test. Hopefully the egg is still in here and intact. We'll thaw it out, and we'll tell you about the next test we're gonna do. So stay tuned. So we have the tape off, but it is frozen like a block. need a microwave. So the microwave was not uh, real successful. So we will go here in the janitor's closet. So I know in here there's hot water. Well, we will run some hot water on this. See what that does. So I've gotten the outer cover off. That would be like the fleece. We're now to the duct tape with the bubble wrap. So we'll proceed and see what's in there. So we are in the lab. We're going to cut this experiment open now. Like I said, it had been in minus 20 degrees Celsius for probably a week. So we'll see. It, it is hard. That's foam. And the egg is in there somewhere. So we're going to cut this open and see what we find.
Here we are under the foam container. One more layer to go. Big unveiling. Oh, it looks like we have a crack in here. There you can see, and it is cold. So, good try. I guess the uh, moral of this story here, even all the foam and the bubble wrap and the fleece around still could not protect the egg from the Antarctic challenge. So still intact, hasn't exploded, but as you can see, it is cracked and very very solid frozen. So I guess if you were interested in cryogenics and able to thaw this back out in the future, then maybe you'd have something there. So there's the results from Antarctica on this blizzardy day out there. And uh, it was a fun experiment. Good, uh, good design, but not good enough for Antarctica.